this is our carryover champion, Tom Beck from Salisbury, Queensland. With a win tonight, he will take home all the prizes, the Alfa Romeo Spider and the cash jackpot, totaling $406,174. Tonight on the world's richest quiz, we're offering a state-of-the-art set of gym equipment. A dynamic $15,000 home theater system. The exciting Alfa Romeo Spider. And a cash jackpot of $250,000. All on Australia's premier quiz. Sale of the new century. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Ridge. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Hello, it's great to be with you on Sale of the New Century tonight, and please give a warm welcome to Karina Brown. Hello. All, well, all dressed up, ready for a special night. Yes. And it really is a very special night because you haven't had the pleasure yet. No, I'm more excited than Tom, I think. And having <laughs> someone play for everything. And uh, let's quickly say hello to Carry Over Champ because he has played extremely well. And it's nice to have you with us, Tom. Thanks, Glenn. How are you feeling? Uh, very, very nervous. Very nervous. You were looking a little bit nervous there at the start. You started last night off extremely nervously, didn't you? Yes, I certainly did. You came from behind and you won, so that's a sign of a good player. Yeah, I don't want to do it twice. <laughs> oh, no. You'll be fine. There are a couple of people I'm sure you would like to mention. One is Janine, who's with us again tonight. She's looking gorgeous in another frock she's chosen. Are you trying these dresses on again, Janine? I sure am. <laughs> I'm right. She's getting ready to purchase. <laughs> Making the most of the opportunity. And also the kids at the school, because many people may not be aware the position you hold at your school. Yeah, I'm deputy principal at Yoronga State High School in Brisbane. And they're all good kids, aren't they? Oh, every one of them. Yeah, and they're all sitting there watching. Very proud of you. So right. good luck tonight, Tom. OK, thanks, Glenn. Good luck. Thanks, and Karina. Before we introduce the other contestants, if you win tonight, you'll be the fourth highest winner ever in sales history. <laughs> How does that make you feel, Tom? Oh, no pressure, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about all that. Good luck tonight. Here are your Thank challenges. You. Our first challenger is a primary school teacher. She loves playing the piano and following the stock market. And she hopes to travel to France to visit her sister. From Eltham, Victoria, please welcome Su Sue Hughes. Hello, Sue. Hi, Glenn. Hi. Our second challenger is a sales manager. His hobbies include singing and reading historical novels. And his ambition is to go to Greece and write a musical. From Lizaro, New South Wales, please welcome John Geary. Hello, John. Our third challenger is retired. She enjoys the theatre and travelling, and her ambition is to go scuba diving. From Glen Gowry, South Australia, please welcome Marg Adams. Hello, Marg. Nice Hi. to have you with us also. Now, before we get into the game, obviously there's an awful lot of pressure on the champ in a situation like that. But there's equally the same amount of pressure on the challengers too, because everything's ahead of everyone. The only way you'll get on in sale of the new century is to win tonight. So good luck to all of you. $20 starting money. Have an exciting See you game, soon. everyone. Let's Bye. go for it. Good luck, all. First question for the night. Rhyming with single is what colloquial term for a minor accident in a motor vehicle? John. Dingle. That's correct, in a motor vehicle. The first animal to have been domesticated was which mammal related to wolves, foxes... Tom. The dog. That's correct, and jackals. Produced by the addition of certain bacteria and used as a garnish in soups and sauces is smooth, thick what cream? Tom. Sour. That's right. Here's a visual question. Pictured here is which Oscar-nominated American actress? The Academy Award nominee for The End of the Affair, we needed Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. Familiar from the American West is what term, beginning with S, for any place where alcoholic drinks are sold? Tom. Saloon. That's correct, sold and drunk. Gift shop time, a good start by the champ. You're on $35. Uh, obviously not quite the nerves tonight. You do have a lead of $10 over John, and if you like, you can buy with Karina. It's time to get on your bike as this family package will turn any mountain into a molehill. The men's 24 speed LDX features a suspension frame and forks. The ladies Corniche comes with an alloy component and advanced gear system. And the boys Cheetah boasts a radical frame design with 18 speed grip shift gears. Usually $1,138, but tonight just $7 from Apollo and Sale of the Century. Hey, you cool dude, girl. Look at yeah. there. Oh, wow. Now, Tom, I can see you and Janine and your little boy Andrew. On the bikes, pedalling around, having a great time. Now, so can I, Glenn. Just $7. <laughs> any other night, I'd do it, 
but not tonight. Oh. Tom, is there anything I can offer you to make Nothing. this sale? No, not tonight, Glenn. Not tonight? No, I'm afraid not. Can't do any more. No sale. Simple as that. Which is a bit of a pity because Jason had a cool $500 sale surprise there too. So you've missed out there. But still in the lead on $35 as we get back to the questions. What do we call any persistent, abnormal or irrational fear of a certain thing or group? Tom. Phobia. That's correct. Or group of things. Michael Ondaatje won the Booker Prize for which novel whose 1996 film adaptation starred Ray Fiennes in the title role? John. The English Patient. That's correct. Brian Drone, so ready players? Here's the question. I am a non-profit organisation. I evolved from a 1792 meeting of 24 influential men. My present name was adopted in 1863. I was first housed in a rented room. In 1903, I moved into a larger, more imposing building. Today, I compromise over 1,300 member firms or seats that are permitted to trade on my floor. A loud, distinct bell in each of my four trading areas signals... Tom. The New York Stock Exchange. And the New York Stock Exchange. That's correct. Good answer, Tom. And you answered in the $10 zone, so the champ is up to $50. Back to the questions. Which flower bud, pickled and used for seasoning, is also a prank or harebrained escapade? No ideas, caper the answer we needed. The first of our fame game questions, $10 has been placed behind one of our famous faces, Who Am I? Born in New York City in 1946, I came from a broken home, was raised in the Brooklyn slums and at seven began learning music. Leaving the prestigious Juilliard School to work as a mail clerk for Columbia Records, I eventually returned to my studies and subsequently became a musical arranger for various TV shows. The co-producer and arranger of Bette Midler's first two albums, I decided to become a performer myself and in 1970... Tom? Barry Manilow? And Barry Manilow, that's correct. Coco Cabano, Can't Smile Without You, Mandy and I write the songs to some of his big hits. Well, answer Tom, good start to the round. You're on 50, you're in the lead by $20. You can increase that lead if you pick correctly. Tonight, our famous faces are... Making every second count, Jeff McMullen. 60 Minutes. Tara Dennis. Our House. John Burgess. Burgess Catchphrase. Cynthia Nixon. Sex in the City. Kyle Storywood. Kyle comes from Deception Bay in Queensland and loves feeding the ducks with his grandma. What a cutie. Great to have you with us, Kyle. Susie Wilkes. Changing Rooms. Nathan Foley. High Five. Tracy Grimshaw. Today Show. And Mark Ferguson. Good medicine. So, Tom, which of those famous faces would you like? I'll have Burjo from Catchphrase, please. Good luck. Here's John. Tom, you'll have all the action, adventure and romance you can take with this year's supply of latest release videos valued at $520 from Video Easy. Very nice prize, Tom. You'll love that. The money is still hidden at the end of round one. Tom, our carryover champ, is in the lead on $50. Only three rounds to go. Can he maintain that lead? And can he be our first champion on sale of the new century? We'll find out after this break on round two. Welcome back. This is Sale of the New Century, and I'm not sure what it's like where you are, but here in the studio, you can cut the air. Tom, our carryover champ in the lead on $50 as we go into round two. First question. The films She's the One, Office Space, Object of My Affection and Picture Perfect all feature which cast member of TV's Friends? John. Lisa Kudrow. No, Jennifer Aniston. Native to Mexico, California and Arizona, the saguaro is what kind? Tom. Cactus. That's correct. What kind of plant? Gift shop time and Tom, uh, you're still in the lead. You're on $55. You have a good lead of $30 over John and uh, certainly maintain the lead even if you buy here with Karina. This deluxe side-by-side -side fridge will be all the refreshment you need as you relax from the fruits of your labour. With a handy ice and water dispenser, it's made from scratch-resistant textured steel and features a large 627 litre capacity. And you can have your choice of decor panels to colour coordinate your kitchen. It's normally $3,199, tonight only $10 from GE Appliances and Sale of the Century. So I guess, Bert, you kind of <laughs> like the watermelon, do you? Have a look at that. Good, isn't it? Grin from ear to ear. Tom, I know it's a special night. I know any other night you'd probably buy. Never did, though, all the way through. No. <laughs> but that's OK. Over $3,000 worth of fridge here for just $10. No, Glenn, I can't. I'm going to throw in $500 cash, if you like. Going once. No, it's not going to tempt me, I'm afraid. $1,000 going twice. No. $2,000 going three times. No. 
You're right, Tom. I'm not going to tempt you. No <laughs> sale. So Tom stays in the lead on $55 as we get back to the questions. The most widely recognised word or phrase in the world after OK is which beverage trademark? Tom. Coca-Cola. That's correct. 94% uh, recognition. Necessitating a general election for both houses of a bicameral parliament is a double want. Sue. Dissolution. That's right. Fast money, 30 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts now. How many E's are in the word expertise? Sue. Three. Yes, sir. Which Turkish city is home to the Blue Mosque? John. Uh, Istanbul. Correct. So the abbreviation ZPG stands literally for zero popular... John. Population growth. Yes, a fictional American detective is Ellery who? Tom. Queen. Correct. Which anagram of cape is a sin Sue? Pace. Correct. Uh, with which industry do we associate Lloyds of London? John. Insurance. Yes, uh, your mandible is also called your... John. Jawbone. That's correct. Your lower what? Your lower jaw or jawbone is a correct answer. Second fame game question for the night. And Marg, you need an answer here. Correct answer and $15 to stay in the game. Who am I? Born in 1960, I was educated both privately and at an elite boarding school and later graduated an officer from Naval College, as had other members of my family. Posted to the... Tom. Prince Andrew. I am Prince Andrew. Well answered. Uh, the 13th holder of the title, Duke of York. <laughs> Champ's doing very well under a lot of pressure here. So, Tom, uh, $10, $15 there somewhere. Who would you like? Jeff McMullen, please. From 60 Minutes, is there money behind Jeff? Tom, you've won this cosmetics package, including a complete range of makeup, book, and private tuition video valued at $507 from Natural Compatibles. Pick out some fabulous prizes, Tom, not the money. Unfortunately, Marg, as we mentioned, you did need a correct answer in the $15 to stay in the game. We've certainly had great fun having you with us. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. John, Sue, Tom, battling it out. Round three, right after this, the pressure's on the champ. Let's find out how he goes shortly. This is the cash card round on sale. Tom, a carryover champ, who, if he wins tonight, will win over $406,000 worth of cash and prizes in the lead on $65. First question for the round. Dying tragically in the US in 1917, before he was able to establish an international reputation, was Australian boxing great Les... John. Darcy. Les Darcy is right. Also meaning to find one's direction or position is what term for the countries of Asia? Sue. Orient. Orient is right. Cash card time and Tom, you have the opportunity to play. You do have a lead of $15. You know what it's like? You could pick up $5,000 cash. You're no, shaking your right. head. No. Sometimes in the situation, and we'll do it tonight, if you pick the money, I'll double it. That is $10,000 cash no. in my hand. No. Don't want to play? No. Your call. All right, Tom. If you did decide to play, which suit would you have gone for? Clubs. And would the $10,000 have been there tonight? Oh, Let's find out, Karina. On the clubs, $15. So you would have gone back to $65. Where would the money have been? Spades. On the spades. So there you go. You can breathe another sigh of relief, Tom. <laughs> Still in the lead, though, on $65 as we get back to the questions. Originally established in 1782 and awarded for wounds or death in combat was which US military... Tom? The Purple Heart. That's correct. Military decoration. Last chance to pick some money from the board. Uh, fame game, $25 in the wild card being added. An important one for you, Sue. Just to stay in the game, you do need a correct answer. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Born into a wealthy family here in Asia in 1923, I graduated from Cambridge University with first-class honours and qualified as a barrister. After returning home, I was appointed a legal advisor to the Postal Union and proved so successful in wage negotiations that I was hired by other unions. The founder of the moderate anti-communist People's Action Party, which soon became the colony's dominant political force, I was a member of delegations to London which sought independence for Singapore. The country's first... Tom. Lee Kuan Yew. I am Lee Kuan Yew, that's correct. The country's first Prime Minister. So the champ has the opportunity to pick from the board. The money is there, $25, $15, $10. Tom, who would you like? Cynthia Nixon, please. Good luck. Here's Cynthia. And there's 
Up to $85. Good ladies we go into the Mad Minute, but anything can happen in the Mad Minute. Where was the rest of the money though, Karina? Susie Wilkes had the wild card, Tara Dennis had the $10, and Mark Ferguson had the $25. Thanks, Karina. That's where all the money was. Sue, we do have to say goodnight to you. A very special night. A lot of pressure on tonight. Thank I you. hope you've enjoyed yourself, though, and thank you for playing. Thank you. So it's down to John and Tom. At the moment, $35 are separating the two players. As I say, anything can happen in the Mad Minute. Can the champ hold on and be our fourth biggest winner in the history of Sale of the Century? We'll find out shortly. Another MLC invest. Well, it's down to just 60 seconds. Can Tom win and win over $400,000 worth of cash and prizes? At the moment, he's in the lead on $85. John, you're certainly in touch in the game, though. You're on $50. We've got a long way to go. 60 seconds worth of questions. So let's put the time up there. And your time starts now. According to the saying, one good turn deserves... John. Another. Correct. Uh, which country is home to the style of dish called Vindaloo? John. Uh, India. Yes. Uh, who was the first to make a solo non-stop transatlantic flights? Tom. Charles Lindbergh. Correct. What type of creature is the macaw? Tom. It's a bird. Yes. Of which Asian country is Dhaka the capital? John. <sighs> Bangladesh. What nationality is former tennis champion Stefan Edberg? Tom. Swedish. Correct. A famous Norwegian playwright was Henrik Hu. Tom. Ibsen. Yes. Of the term hibernal refers to which season? Winter, a famous Australian war cameraman was Damien Hu. John. Para. Yes, of which trio was Balthazar a member? Tom. Three wise men. Yes, whose signature song is Timey Kangaroo Dance? John. Rolf Harris. Yes, the essentials of the situation are called the Nitty Whites. Tom. Gritty. Yes, uh, which airline has the flight designator QF? John. Qantas. Yes, uh, to which continent is the hippopotamus native? Tom. Africa. Africa is the answer, and Tommy have won the game. Congratulations, played very, very well there. All the way through, led the way, and justifiably, congratulations, our new Sale of the Century chat. And goes into the record books here at Sale as being our fourth highest winner. So, uh, congratulations, Tom and Janine. Oh, well, you're getting kisses all the way around, right? Oh, I'm so excited. Now, it really is a fantastic uh, experience to do that. There's no doubt about it, this new format is a lot harder to have a champ, and Tom is an indication of that. He's certainly been on his toes from the word go, but we mustn't forget John no, either. John Badlock, what a horrible night to be with us. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you leave us with nothing, but I hope you enjoyed the atmosphere. I did, yes, it was lovely. Fantastic experience. And, John, we do have something for you and all of our other players tonight. They pick up these gifts. Tonight's guests can take the contest home with the sale of the Century Board Game from Crown and Andrews. And as a token of their time with us, they'll receive our solid sterling silver pin from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Congratulations, Tom. Well done. Come through, Janine. Well, um, well, well, well done. <laughs> he did say you can buy... As many dresses as you like now, didn't you, Tom? That's, that's true. Yes. Well, OK. <laughs> Let's go shopping, hey? <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Come through. Well done. And you too, Janine. We have some fantastic prizes. You really have picked up some wonderful, wonderful prizes whilst you've been with us. We're going to have a look at them. There was the lounge suite you won, the share portfolio, fantastic investments, the home gym, that's for you, Janine. <laughs> the Sea Do, a lot of fun. This is the start of the boys' toys. The trip for the both of you. Fantastic. The fantastic Harley Davidson motorbike, that's yours as well. And also, to top it all off, the Alfa Romeo Spider is yours too. Here it is. Tom, you have all the drive you need as you allow Alfa's all new Spider to place you in a picture perfect world. Bursting the most agile and seductive form of all, the legendary Spider will empower you with genuine sporting finesse. Its exquisite styling and race sprint engine will take you to adrenaline-charged heights as you thrill to its responsive twin-spark engine and bask in the internal luxury of its inherently quiet leather-lined cockpit. It's valued at $69,500 plus on-road costs. Alfa Romeo, the heart and soul of sports cars. And befitting both the champion and vehicle of this caliber, our 18-carat gold diamond-studded keyring valued at $2,000 from Shimani Jewelry and sale of the century. So there you go, congratulations, Tom. You wanted the Alfa Romeo coming so close, did. and you've got it. Thank the best one, probably, I reckon, oh, as far as a sports superb. car is concerned. Hold on to the keyring, you have that <laughs> from Shimani Jewelry as well. And it's like Christmas because have a look over your shoulder, you've also won this.
Tom sale of the century cash jackpot is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now the grand total, including the fame game and the gift shops and the cash card, is four hundred and twenty thousand five hundred and seventy-three dollars worth of cash and prizes. Congratulations! Well, wow. uh, you've been on edge for a long time. Do you want to say a few words? Oh, I'd like to uh, say hello to my friends at the uh, Sporting and Workers Club, David and David and John and Paul, and also my son Andrew at home in Brisbane. Hello to him. And also the students at Yoronga State High School and my parents as well. well. I reckon the boys are having a beer for you now and you'll be <laughs> able to join will. them. But that's not the end of the good news, Tom, because I have some very big news for you. From tonight, we'll be launching Super Sale. Now, that means the next time we see you will be when we have our next big champ in the same situation. Now, when that happens, we'll play Super Sale. And that's going to be a best of three nights competition immediately following the next champ's win. It'll be you against them, head to head, and the prize will be their cash jackpot. Now, nobody risks anything in this situation. If they win, for example, like you tonight, $250,000 in the jackpot, then that's what you will both play for. And if you win, you can keep playing as much as you possibly can and really make some serious money. Wow. It is going to be a win-win situation all the way around. Super sale right here on Channel 9. Tom, keep an eye Thank on sale. Much. Keep an eye on our chance. They could be your next challenger. Certainly will be. And we will see you again playing super sale. Exciting stuff. Good luck to you both. Thank Good luck you. to your families. We'll have uh, three new players again tomorrow night as we continue with sales. So until then, take care, won't you? Bye-bye. My first champion! <laughs> Next on 9, Our House, followed by Good Medicine. Then at 8.30, Susie Wilkes introduces another amazing makeover in Changing Rooms, followed by Airport.